Jalen Ferguson has seen his NFL scouting combine invitation rescinded image, Getty, the 23-year-old defensive end had a conviction of simple battery, which made him ineligible under the league's policy. Ferguson had been playing college football with the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs and is the National Collegiate Athletic Association all-time sack leader. He was convicted in his freshman year at college, after being involved in a fight at a McDonald's, reports NFL Network's Ian Rapoport and Tom Pelissero. The NFL reminded clubs in January that players would be barred from the combine if a background check reveals a conviction of a felony or misdemeanor involving violence, players would be barred from the combine if a background check reveals a conviction of a felony or misdemeanor involving violence and all this is not the only concern for NFL organizations regarding Ferguson's past, as he also received a public intoxication charge while at Tech. Ferguson was seen as a potential first-round pick and already had teams contacting him to schedule visits. Because he will no longer be attending the week-long event at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, the number of visits is expected to increase, claims Rupaport. Ferguson isn't the first player to have an invitation revoked under the NFL policy. Jalen Ferguson's background check uncovered a violent conviction, image, Getty, NFL scouting combine is a week-long showcase occurring every February, image, Getty, in 2017 Ole Miss quarterback Chad Kelly saw his invitation rescinded after he pleaded guilty to non-criminal disorderly conduct. He had been involved in a bar fight in Buffalo, New York in 2015, two other players, Jeffrey Simmons and Preston Williams have not been invited to the 2019 combine because of ineligibility under the policy. Simmons, who played for Mississippi State as a defensive tackle, pleaded no contest to a misdemeanor charge of simple assault and was found guilty of malicious mischief in 2016. Williams, who played for Colorado State as a wide receiver, was arrested in 2017 for an altercation involving a woman, reports Pelissero. The case involving Ferguson was not previously in the public domain, although NFL teams were aware of the incidents, reports Report. All players invited to the combine agreed to have background checks and it was this check which turned up the battery charge. Over 300 college prospects participate in the combine, image, Getty, what is the NFL scouting combine? It's a vital event in the path of a player making it to the draft and having the opportunity of being selected to join an NFL roster. Over 300 prospects participate in the Combine on their journey to achieving their dream of playing in the NFL. The NFL Scouting Combine is a week-long showcase occurring every February. It is held at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. Super Bowl MVP Julian Edelman didn't attend the Combine, image, Getty, college football players perform physical and mental tests in front of NFL coaches, general managers, and scouts. However, attending the event is not a requirement to get drafted and many players have enjoyed successful careers in the NFL who did not attend the Combine. One notable player who didn't attend a scouting Combine is this year's Super Bowl MVP Julian Edelman. He was not invited to the 2009 Combine but still went on to win three Super Bowls and a Super Bowl MVP with the New England Patriots.